Hello, hello! In today's episode, we will be having fun with some simple text processing using Herbert's Dune book as our playground. You'll need the EPUB file of the book for this. Feel free to use any EPUB book that you have. And the cherry on top, we will end up with a cool word cloud from the text we have analyzed. Trust me, word clouds are a super fun way to visualize words. Let's start by creating a separate Conda environment for the current episode. Now we need to activate environment. Next let's install Python packages. Today I will use WordCloud, NLTK, Pandas, BS4, eBookLib, Andrew Piter Lab packages. So before we start, I want to create a separate folder where I will store all necessary files for our purposes. Now let's just start Jupyter Lab. I want to create a folder with name data where I will store my book. Let's just create our first notebook, I will call it as a text processing and here we will store all code for processing the text. Now let's go one by one through each cell of our notebook. In the beginning let's import required packages. Now we need to install necessary databases for NLTK usage. In the following cell I read the book by using the ebook clip package and also I retain just only chapters from the book by using some simple filtering. Next, let's dive into each chapter and grab all the text. Then we are gonna squish all those paragraphs into one super long line. Alright, we have got this massive string with our book's content. Time for some text processing magic with NLTK. First off, let's say goodbye to all those non-word characters using the regular expressions. To kick things off, I'm going to use two handy functions from NLTK to tokenize our string, essentially splitting it into individual words. Then we will bring in the post tag function to do some post tagging. This clever little function assigns a part of speech tag to each word in our sentence. What we end up with is a neat list of tuples where each tuple is a word from our sentence, paired with its corresponding part of speech tag. The next trick we are going to explore from NLTK is something called lemmatization. What that you ask? Well, it's a super handy operation that simplifies words down to their root forms. Let's take a peek at an example of what this lemmatization procedure can do. Now. Let's get removing stop words. So what's a stop word? It's just a word that doesn't really say anything about the tone of a statement. Think words like that, this. We can use stop words from NLTK to do this. Cool, huh? So we are near the finish line of our text processing for the Dune book. All that's left to do is count how often each unique word shows up in our lemmas list. That's it for text processing part. Let's just add the statement to save the results and let's run all our cells one by one. So in the end we got data frame, where for each word we have a frequency across the whole book. Now let's have some fun and visualize our results using a word cloud. I'm going to create a new Jupyter notebook for this. Let's call it Word Cloud. First off, we need to import all the necessary packages. Then we will load up the data frame from before. I'm going to remove the most frequent word say, just to make our final result a bit more interesting. Feel free to skip this step if you like. Now let's just things up a bit and specify some custom colors for our words. 
you can skip this too, but I personally think these colors are a bit more fun than the default ones. Now for the grand final, we will use the word cloud object from the word cloud package to plot our results. Feel free to tweak the arguments to your liking. I'll drop a link to the code in the comment section of this video. That's all for today, folks. Next time, I'll show you how to customize the shape of the word cloud to make it even cooler. Thanks for watching. Take care, my friend. See you next time.